Some fun. Check this out. Ugh. Real diamonds. Yeah. Look how shiny it is. Check this out. I haven't even. I just opened this. Look at this. Look at that. These are all the trophies they've made thus far. Now I want to see boxing there. Nice. That's the goal. So, Tiffany and Co. We'll see where you guys want to go. I'm going to leave that here for motivation. Break the chain, break the chain, break the chain. I'll be trying to find a way to break the chain. Say it. It'll be strange, it'll be strange, it'll be strange. I'll be trying to find a way to make the chain. Huh. In boxing. The name Teofimo Lopez has become synonymous with relentless determination, highlight real performances, and a larger-than-life personality. I'm the greatest boxer they've seen since Muhammad Ali and Tyson. I don't care what they say. Ain't nobody doing it like this. The self-proclaimed greatest showman has been at the top not once, but twice in two different weight classes. With nothing left to prove, Teofimo was ready to walk away. But that retirement was short-lived. And less than a year later, he was back to take over once again. Do I rewind it? Do I grind it? Or just... But standing in the way of the takeover is the technician. With 17 wins over his career, Jermaine Ortiz is now looking to make a statement. He's focused on other things while well, I'm here focused on him. Let him do that. Just don't make it an excuse when I knock him out. The two opponents are no strangers. Having faced off in the 2015 Golden Gloves, where Tiafimo came away with the win. Since then, the two have been on differing paths in their careers. Until now, where the two will meet again. This time, a chance for Ortiz to secure his first world title against a familiar foe. A two-division champion who is looking for a welcome back party and so much more. Break the chain, break the chain, break the chain. Now it's time that I take it over for once and for all. It's my world. Everybody else is living in it. Here we go. This is blood, sweat, and tears. Tiafimo versus Ortiz. Boxing is not solely built on pure physical skill. The sport is just as taxing mentally. The weeks, months, and years of constant pressure to achieve can leave a boxer questioning their ability inside the ring. Mind the muscle, make these count. One, two, get a good squeeze down there. But for someone that lives, breathes, go. and would die uh -huh. for the sport two, they love, there is no other option than to move forward. Exhale. 
aim at death for where that is where life begins. I'm aiming at death and I'm smiling. I know death is smiling back at me and I'm looking at death and I'm smiling back because that's all a man can ever do. I'll die in the ring if, th if that comes to it. But I have. I died when I faced George Cambosis. And I'm still here, right? So I know what it takes to win. And I also know what happens when I lose. It teaches you experiences. It teaches you trials and lessons. That's really what it is. And I had to go through that. Teofimo Lopez coming off the shocking upset loss to Cambosis. The power carry for Teofimo Lopez from 135 to 140. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Oh. And there is the knockdown score. Last two counts. Come on, you got it. Headshot after headshot. Short oh, line hand. God. A beat down. Yeah. Worldwide. The world and everything in it. Damn, We're putting in work, man. Let's go. Well, we got to train every day. That's all it is. Everybody wants this spot, but they don't know what it takes to get there. You know? Everybody want to be famous. We doing this for a legacy. You want to attack that. There you go. When I fought Sandra Martin, I actually broke my hand three weeks prior to facing him. Getting so close to camp and so close to a fight, you're going to take the fight. I don't see Lopez in the rhythm. Fights up for grabs right now. Right there is a surging nice right, hand right hand by Lopez. Late rally here by Tiafimo Lopez. Yeah. yeah. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. <gasps> yep. Come on. Just bite down and get after it here. Mean shot from Tiafimo Lopez. For your winner by split decision, the takeover, Tiafimo Lopez. Bro, do I still have it? You, you do, man. Do I still got it? I'm my worst critic. We know how to push ourselves to our limit. Last one, come on. Go up slow. Go up slow. I think it's time that people see who I really am and how I am. So yeah, do I still got it? I knew that when I came into this fight with Josh Taylor, I didn't have a full recovery on my left hand. I knew this was my only opportunity. I just said, forget it, I'll fight through the pain and then we'll make this work. Me versus me every day. Every day. Here we go for the world title. Taylor and Lopez, and there's a left uppercut that comes in for Tiafimo. Good shot with the right hand in between punches from Tiafimo. That hurt Taylor. Come on, champ. Let's do this. Fast up. We got this, champ. Come on, man. Oh, and the headshot combination. Sends Taylor back against the ropes. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that lunging shot. Oh, he sets him off balance. Two punch combination. And here comes Lopez. Right hand comes in from Tiafimo. Yeah, baby, the Dango is back! Look at this finish from Tia Fimo! On life or death. I see boxing as a way that saved me from the streets. It's brought in a lot of good people in my life. It's became my safe haven. No matter what square circle it is, this is my home inside the ring. From Worcester, Massachusetts, Jermaine, the technician, Ortiz. As Ortiz's love of boxing translated into win after win, his team felt there was something missing. As a professional, I never had a nickname when I started off. And everybody was like, oh, you need a nickname, you need a nickname. The technician came up. I searched up the definition. It was a person very skilled or an expert in their craft. And that's what I felt like I was, not only inside the ring of boxing, but also in my personal life. 
very uh, technical in the way I like to organize my life, the way I like to handle things. So I just felt like it suited me. The technician, it just was perfect. He switches righty, lefty. Now turns southpaw and he hits the gas pedal with herring up against the ropes. And all the technique he's been taught, he would practice them, he'd do them and make them come to life. And in the moments where you needed him to go hard and push, he would do it. And that's what it takes to be a champion. Can Jermaine Ortiz finish strongly here? I'm putting my life on the line and I'm not gonna have it go to waste and I'm gonna make it worth it. Jermaine, the Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome inside the Michelob Ultra Arena here at the beautiful Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is Boxing. This is Top Rank, presented by Hall of Fame boxing promoter Mr. Bob Arum. Brought to you all weekend long by AutoZone. Get in the zone. By DraftKings Sportsbook. Download the app today. And by C4 Energy. Energy that hits. Find it at Smith's. The WBO Junior. Welterweight Championship of the World is on the line. The champion, the takeover, Tiafimo Lopez taking on the technician, Jermaine Ortiz. That all goes down tomorrow from right here inside Michelob Ultra Arena. We begin at 3.30 Pacific time on ESPN+. Plus. And then we move over to the network ESPN at approximately 7.30 p.m. Pacific. Nine incredible fights on this card coming to you from Big Game Week here in Vegas. 300,000 people descending on the desert. Fireworks happen Thursday night right here, Michelob Ultra Arena. Let's get the first fight on the scale. Four rounds in the junior welterweight division. 
This fight is contracted at 141 pounds. Please welcome from Hayward, California, Mikey the Bull Portales and his opponent from Paramount, California, Art Barrera Jr. First on the scale, Mikey the Bull Portales. One forty, one four zero, right on the nose for Mikey the Bull Portales and his opponent from Paramount, California, Art Barrera Jr. One forty one point one, one forty one point one. This fight is contracted at one forty one. We're going to bring out the scrim. One forty one, one forty one on the nose, one forty one for Barrera Jr. We got a fight, it's contracted at one forty one. It's on. This fight scheduled for four rounds in the junior welterweight division. Contracted at 141 pounds from Hayward, California, Mikey the Bull Portales. And from Paramount, California, Art Barrera Jr. Four rounds in the junior welterweight division. Our next bout is scheduled for six rounds in the heavyweight division. Please welcome from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, Lemire, Bang Bang, Isom Riley, and his opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, Antonio Zeus Zapeta. First on the scale, Lemire, Bang Bang, Isom Riley. Two fifty seven, two five seven for Lemire. Bang bang, I summarize. And his opponent from right here in Las Vegas, Nevada, Antonio Zeus Zapeta. Two ninety nine point seven, two ninety nine point seven for Antonio Zeus Zapeta. This bout scheduled for six rounds in the heavyweight division from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Lemire, Bang Bang, Isom Riley. And from Las Vegas, Nevada, Antonio Zeus Zapata. Six rounds in the heavyweight division. Our next bout scheduled for six rounds in the lightweight division. This fight is contracted at 137 pounds. Please welcome from Denver, Colorado, Thomas Ornelas and his opponent from Ulysses, Kansas, Allen, Kid Kansas, Garcia. First on the scale, Thomas Ornelas. One thirty four point six, one thirty four point six for Thomas Ornelas and his opponent from Ulysses, Kansas, Allen Kid Kansas Garcia. One thirty six point six. 136.6 for Allen Kid Kansas Garcia.
This bout scheduled for six rounds in the lightweight division. From Denver, Colorado, Thomas Ornelas. From Ulysses, Kansas, Alan Kid Kansas Garcia. Six rounds in the lightweight division. Next bout scheduled for eight rounds in the lightweight division. This bout is contracted at 136 pounds. Please welcome from Monterrey, Mexico, Abdel El Gallo Negro Sosedo and his opponent from Brisbane, California, Charlie Sheehy. First on the scale, Abdel El Gallo Negro Sosedo. One thirty-five point four. One thirty-five point four. For Abdel El Gallo Negro Sosedo and his opponent from Brisbane, California, Charlie Sheehy. One thirty-five point seven. One thirty five point seven for Charlie Sheehy. This bout scheduled for eight rounds in the lightweight division from Monterey, Mexico. Abdel El Gallo Negro Sosedo from Brisbane, California, Charlie Sheehy. Eight rounds in the lightweight division. Our next bout scheduled for eight rounds in the lightweight division. Our contracted weight on this bout is 137 pounds. Please welcome from Fort Worth, Texas, Benjamin The Hill, German, and his opponent from Cleveland, Ohio, Abdullah Mason. First on the scale from Fort Worth, Texas, Benjamin The Hill, German. One thirty six point eight, one thirty six point eight for Benjamin the Hill Gurman and his opponent from Cleveland, Ohio, Abdullah Mason. One thirty five point three, one thirty five point three for Abdullah Mason. This bout scheduled for eight rounds in the lightweight division from Fort Worth, Texas, Benjamin the Hill Gurman from Cleveland, Ohio, Abdullah Mason. Eight rounds in the lightweight division. A 
again this bout scheduled for eight rounds in the lightweight division benjamin the hill kermit abdullah mason eight rounds in the lightweight division Next bout scheduled for eight rounds in the middleweight division. This bout is contracted at 162 pounds. Please welcome from Long Beach, California, Raul Mani Salomon and his opponent from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Javier Milwaukee Made Martinez. First on the scale, Raul Mani Salomon. One sixty four point four, one sixty four point four. Next on the scale from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Javier Milwaukee made Martinez. One sixty one point six, one sixty one point six. This bout scheduled for eight rounds in the middleweight division from Long Beach, California, Raul Mani Solomon, and from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Javier Milwaukee Made Martinez. Eight rounds in the middleweight division. Our next bout scheduled for eight rounds in the lightweight division. This bout is contracted at 133 pounds. Please welcome from Querétaro, Mexico, René El Bravo Tellez Iron and his opponent from Whittier, California, George El Yuyu Acosta. First on the scale, René El Bravo Tellez Iron. One thirty-two, one thirty-two for René Alvarado Tellez Iron and his opponent from Whittier, California, George El Yuyu Acosta. One thirty-one point three. 131.3 for George El Yuyu Acosta. This bout scheduled for eight rounds in the lightweight division. From Querétaro, Mexico, René El Bravo Tellez Iron. From Whittier, California, George El Yuyu Acosta. Eight rounds in the lightweight division.
Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to weigh in our co-feature of the evening. Scheduled for 10 rounds for the USBA, WBC USA, and WBO Intercontinental Lightweight titles. This bout is contracted at 135 pounds. Please welcome from Sidra, Puerto Rico, Jose the Sniper Pedraza. And from Norfolk, Virginia, the businessman Keyshawn Davis. First on the scale from Sidra, Puerto Rico, Jose the Sniper Pedraza. One thirty four point five, one thirty four point five for Jose the Sniper Pedraza. Next on the scale from Norfolk, Virginia, the businessman Keyshawn Davis. One thirty four point seven. 134.7 for the businessman, Keyshawn Davis. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our co-feature of the evening. Scheduled for 10 rounds for the USBA, WBC, USA, and WBO Intercontinental Lightweight titles. The challenger from Sidra, Puerto Rico, Jose the Sniper Pedraza. And defending all those belts from Norfolk, Virginia, the businessman, Keyshawn Davis. 10 rounds in the lightweight division. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to weigh in our main event of the evening. 12 rounds for the WBO Junior Welterweight Championship of the World. Again, before we bring the fighters up on scale, it all goes down tomorrow beginning at 3.30 Pacific time on ESPN+. Plus. The co-feature and main event will be taken live on ESPN at 7.30 p.m. Pacific. Brought to you all weekend long by AutoZone. Get in the zone. DraftKings Sportsbook. Download the app today. And by C4 Energy. Energy that hits. Available at all Smith's locations. Here we go. Let's bring them up on stage. Let's get them on the scale. This is our main event. 12 rounds for the WBO Junior Welterweight Championship of the World. Please welcome the challenger from Worcester, Mass. The technician, Jermaine Ortiz. Baby. Let's go! 139.6 for the challenger. 
139.6 for the technician, Jermaine Ortiz. Next on the scale, he is the reigning, defending WBO junior welterweight champion of the world. The takeover, Tiafimo Lopez. Championship of the world. Ortiz. 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 Yo, where's that clown at? Yo, where's the clown, boy? Where's the clown at? Where's the clown at? Again, it all goes down tomorrow, Thursday, February 8th, beginning at 3.30 p.m. Pacific time on ESPN+. Plus. Then we move over to the network, 7.30 p.m. Pacific on ESPN. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is your main event, 12 rounds for the WBO Junior Welterweight Championship of the World. From Worcester, Massachusetts, the technician, Jermaine Ortiz. From Brooklyn, New York, the showman returns. The takeover, Teofimo Lopez. 12 rounds for the WBO Junior Welterweight Championship of the World. The technician, Jermaine Ortiz, the takeover to Fiamo Lopez. 12 rounds for the WBO Junior Welterweight Championship of the World. From right here in Las Vegas, Nevada, inside the Michelob Ultra Arena, Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino. We will see you tomorrow night. As always, this is boxing. This is Top Rank. Have a great afternoon, everybody.